In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to transfer crypto assets onto the BitUnix platform from another exchange or wallet address. This video is a segment from my BitUnix step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. So if anybody's interested in learning more about the platform, I'll be sure to leave a link to that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. I'll also mention that if this is your first time creating an account on BitUnix, I left you a link in the description of this video as well as in the pinned comment down below. BitUnix is often running promotions for people who are signing up for the first time. These can be deposit bonuses, giveaways, discounts on fees, and more. If you use my link when signing up, you'll be eligible for the current promotion, whatever that might be by the time you're watching this video. You'll also be supporting my channel at no extra cost to you. This video is not financial advice and is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a crypto exchange, including BetUnix. Aside from that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Let's get into the video. If you'd like to deposit some assets onto the BitUnix platform from another exchange or wallet address, you'll notice that there's a deposit button over here on the left hand side. You'll also find a deposit button over here, top right hand side next to withdraw. You'll be able to see that there's a deposit button next to each one of these cryptos down below here in your spot wallet. And you can come up here to where it says assets and you can click on deposit in this drop down menu. Either one of those options will bring you over here to the crypto deposit form. And here's where you can proceed to deposit some crypto assets onto BitUnix from another exchange or wallet address. The first thing we need to do is click right here where it says select coin and choose the crypto that you wish to deposit onto the platform. You can do that from this drop down menu right here. And alternatively, you can search for a coin in the search bar up above. I'll go ahead and demonstrate with USDC, which is a stable coin pegged to the US dollar. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that right here. Next, you'll need to choose a network to complete this deposit over. And to do that, we'd click right here where it says select network. Then you'll get a drop down menu with the available networks that you can use on BitUnix. And some of these networks are less in gas fees and faster than others. But the big thing is to make sure that the network matches on both sides of this. So whatever network that you select here on BitUnix, make sure you select that same network wherever you're sending the tokens from. You don't want to send from one network and into another network or you will lose your crypto. So just make sure that wherever you're sending your crypto from supports the network that you wish to use and that you match it to BitUnix. For this demonstration, I'll just leave this on the Ethereum ERC20 network, which by the way, is one of the more expensive networks. You're probably better off to use a different network. Once you choose the coin, as well as the network that you wish to use, BitUnix will be generating your deposit address for that crypto, as well as that network. You'll be able to see your deposit address right here. Mine's behind a black box. And just down below that, you'll find a QR code. So if you're sending your crypto using a smartphone, you can always just scan that QR code. Now, if you're transferring crypto assets from Coinbase to BitUnix, you're looking for the send and receive button. From there, you would choose the send option, then choose the crypto, as well as choose the correct network that you wish to send from Coinbase to BitUnix. And remember, match it to whatever network you select here on BitUnix. If you're using the Kraken exchange, you're looking for the crypto transfer button, then from there, you'd select the withdraw option and of course, choose the crypto as well as the correct network. If you're using a major exchange like Binance or many others that are just like it, you'll usually find the crypto withdraw button on the dashboard of that platform. So from there, you'd simply click on withdraw, choose the crypto, then the correct network. For this demonstration, I'll be sending some USDC from a MetaMask burner wallet onto BitUnix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my deposit address right here by clicking on these two little boxes. Then I'm going to come up here to my MetaMask wallet icon, give that a click. My burner wallet will be dropping down. And the first thing I need to do here is make sure that I'm on the correct network inside of MetaMask. And I can see that I am the Ethereum mainnet right here. But if I had selected a different network on BitUnix, I'd give this a click. And then I would choose the correct network from the networks displayed down below. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. The next step is to come down here and I'm going to click where it says USDC. And I'm going to go ahead and click here on send. In this box right here, I'm going to paste in my BitUnix deposit address for USDC on the Ethereum mainnet, just by simply right clicking and paste. Now I can choose how much USDC I wish to send from the wallet and onto the platform. And I just have a tiny amount of USDC here. So I'm going to go ahead and click here on max. 
Then right here, you'll be able to see your estimated gas fee. So in my case here, I'm using a decentralized hot wallet. So I have to pay a gas fee. And when you're using MetaMask or a wallet like it, the gas fee is always paid in the native token of the network that you're using. So in my case here, I'm on the ERC20 network, which is the Ethereum mainnet. So I'm going to have to pay this gas fee out of my Ethereum balance inside of MetaMask. If I was using the Binance Smart Chain, the native token would be BNB, and I'd be paying the gas fee out of BNB to send my crypto from my wallet onto the platform. So just make sure that you know what the native token is of the network that you're using and make sure to have some of that native token inside your wallet for the network that you're transferring the tokens from. So now that I'm ready to transfer my USDC, I'm going to come down here and click on next. Now I have the opportunity to confirm this transaction and I can see right here that my estimated gas fee is going to be $2.48 worth of Ethereum out of my Ethereum balance from my MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and just come down here and click on confirm. And now the USDC is on its way from MetaMask and over to BitUnix. Now, if you don't already have a MetaMask wallet and you're interested in learning more about it, I do have a MetaMask step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to set it up and use it as a browser extension, as well as how to use MetaMask on mobile app. And I'll be sure to leave a link to those videos in the description down below for anyone that might be interested in learning more. Once your crypto arrives on the platform, you'll be able to find it in your spot account. To get there, you can just click on spot account over here on the left-hand side. Alternatively, you can come up here where it says assets, and then click on spot account in this drop down menu. And as you can see, the USDC has arrived on the BitUnix platform from my MetaMask wallet over the ERC20 network. And there you have it. That's how you can transfer assets onto the BitUnix platform from another exchange or wallet address. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also, feel free to check out my other BitUnix tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day. Thank you.